back to another video. Today I'm doing, since the coronavirus is coming, we're going to show you how to home ed your children. And I'm here with Mama Glitter today. And she's going to show you how to home ed your children because we're, a brother Glitter is with us because his school's shut down. So we will have to, Mama Glitter will have to home ed him. Hi guys. Yes, yeah, so... <coughs> This video is just going to be a little breakdown for parents who are feeling very worried about now having to home educate their children when honestly there's no reason to worry about it guys. Everybody is able to home educate and also home education is how you want to home educate your kids. There's no strict guidelines to it. It's whatever you feel like you want to teach your children because what I teach is easy. might be something totally different to what you want to teach your child. But let's go through what we do and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, I will be glancing down every now and again because I've wrote some notes so I don't forget anything. Because um, obviously I don't only teach ZZ now, I also have my son because obviously his school is closed due to the coronavirus as well. So I will be looking down for notes so I don't forget anything. And there he is now, yes! So depending on your children's ages, you can decide on what you would like them to learn. But also when you're home educated, you can ask your children of what they would like to learn. So I would say to Zizi, okay, so what do you want to learn at the moment? And then she would tell me something that she's really interested in learning about. And then I tie in basic things into that subject. So she's got a wider range of coverage. So like at the moment, what are we covering at the moment, Zizi? We're coming spring and Easter. That's right. So, um, and then if you've got your older kids, that's when you can ask them what they want to learn. If you've got younger children, obviously they won't know what they would want to learn, but if they're old enough, then get them to contribute in. So then you can know, then you're going to have an engagement with them that they're going to actually want to learn. Okay. So that's what I do. And then you when, right? when, when I give up, I get to play and Freddy stuff and Lola. So... So using our household with Zizi who is eight, nearly nine, and then <laughs> and then Brother Glitter who's four, nearly five, um, I try and contribute then into it reading, maths, writing into a subject. So at the moment obviously we are covering Easter. So then I will use things in that system with reading writing and stuff included in it and then that's when you can bring other topics into the subject as well so with this topic of spring and easter the science area of it we've been learning about hibernation and waking up from hibernation haven't we mm -hmm. and comparing it between two different species on how they do different things to hibernate and then the arts and crafts sides we're making easter cards easter baskets and then this weekend now we'll be doing some cooking, making some chocolate mm -hmm. nests. With... And today we're going to be doing the egg in the bottle. Yes, so... egg in the bottle experiment, mm -hmm. which is, it seems like it's going to be really good fun. But we'll tag all the pictures in our Instagram. We're going to leave it right here. Instagram! So go and follow her. Um, and then the geography side of it, we've been just looking at what other countries do to celebrate Easter. So their traditions and how they do things. So we've done Greece, Spain, Italy, Poland. Um, so yeah, looking at how other people do things as well as in the UK. Um, but if you think this is too much to handle for you guys, because obviously we've been doing this a while now, me and Zizi have been doing you home educated. for a week. No, you've been home educated now nearly a year now, Zizi. <gasps> a long time. So we've been doing it for a while now, but if obviously this is a bit, because obviously we're quite in depth with it, don't panic. Just keep with the usual reading, writing, maths, spelling you would be and english and english you would be fantastic just doing that the basics okay but the apps that we use while we're home educating reading eggs reading eggs so zizi loves reading eggs reading eggs <laughs> reading eggs you've got on there um reading maths games so they ask the children questions applicable to their age because you can choose the age range of what you would like and they would ask them questions and then every time they get a question right they award them with an egg and then when they get a certain amount of eggs they can customize their costumes their characters maps that sort of thing and also what i like about reading egg is they message you via email to keep you updated on how your child is doing mm -hmm. so you are able to see their age, their reading age and their spelling age and what things that they need to work on. So you're able then to put that into a lesson format as well. So reading eggs, big thumb up from us and it's easy. Mm -hmm. 
Twinkle. We love Twinkle. 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 On Twinkle, you can get worksheets from there. You can get lesson plans from there. And also at the moment, Twinkle are offering a, a, a free subscription because obviously people are having to stay at home now for isolation. So go and check them out. There'll be a book on their website to explain on how you get a free subscription. We obviously aren't using that because we subscribe to them. We've got the core package, which is plenty enough for us. Um, I think it's around 4 49 4 59 a month. Um, and you get loads of printouts in that. And so, yeah, it's really thumbs up. None of these are sponsored, by the way. These are just things that me and ZZ love. And then my son, he uses Hub, which is obviously connected with his Hoop. school. Yeah, Hub. But it's another, like, learning app. Um, but he's connected with his school, that one. So that's what he uses. And then we also love using the BBC Sounds app because on there we, li we listen to and watch documentaries and podcasts. Blue and Planet! Blue Planet. ZZ loves Blue Planet. I saw our next topic is going to be all about oceans and the wildlife in the ocean and things like that. So the workbooks that we use are... Okay, so the first one that we use is the Superstars Times Tables activity book. This is good because obviously... It helps with the kids' timetables and seeing that how um, equations are not always written the same way. You know, how you can put them a different way but still get the same answer. So we love this. We got this at the works. Um, and Zizi loves this one, don't you, Zizi? Yeah. So we have this one. And then also we've got a combination of maths and English in here. In the beginning is maths and then halfway through the book it goes to English. And then it teaches all about um, composition words and... All those sorts of things and how words obviously have um, probably a letter in the beginning but you don't sound the first letter things like that and they put them in a very simple format which is easier for kids to understand and also adults but on the back of these which is what I like they also give the answer sheets if parents are struggling themselves in things like that then they can get the answers in these books too this is also from the works so we do that. And then any books when it comes to the reading time for ZZ, is any books that ZZ would like to read. So at the moment she's reading like the Holiday Magic and there's also another book which is the Raccoon book, Raccoon on the Moon, things like that. Anything that she would like to read to me, I let her read. I don't have any restrictions on no you are reading this. If this is what ZZ fancies reading on the day then we'll read that. But then when it comes to my son, we are then at the moment reading a chapter from a book. So the book that we've all chosen is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That's the first one we're going to start reading. So I will read the first chapter of a book. And then what I'm going to get Zizi to do is do a chapter review of what she's learned about the first chapter and what she's expecting to happen in the next chapter of the book. But obviously when it, how it benefits my son is obviously he's hearing me read. He's going to hear me saying the words, animating the words and the actual story and actually engaging with me. Because obviously that's been told ever since children are born, you should read. So just reading to your children, guys, is going to be fantastic in itself. OK, OK, so these are games that we like to play with each other. So catch the ball. This is very simple, guys. It is exactly how it says. So we throw the ball we to each other. We do it different ways. I would chuck the ball and then I would say A. B and so on and so forth. Or it could be maths, like I would say one, she would say two, I would say three, or it could be, you know, going up in twos, it could be going up in tens, it could be going up in tables, however you want it. It's a fun learning game at the same time. Kids are learning without even realising that they are, which is one thing that I like, especially when you're starting the process off. If you just want, are wanting to try and warm them up to the whole idea of this, then they're playing, but they're learning and they don't even realise they're learning. Okay, spelling tiles, guys. So we could, um, you could make letter tiles and then we usually do multiples of the tiles just in case a letter comes up more than once in a word. And then how it works, or you could go on Twinkle, they might have a print out of letter tiles on there actually as well. But also, um, so then what you do is when you have all the letter tiles, you take it in turns of asking each other to spell a word. And then you just take it in turn. So like I could ask Easy to spell cat. She could ask me to spell dog, for example. And then it will just go along like that. So that's all I have for you guys. But I just want to say don't panic. Do what you ever need to do that suits your children at the end of the day. As long as you do the basics of reading, writing and maths, you're doing the benefits of what everybody, what every child needs. Okay, to stay up to date and not losing the enthusiasm of wanting to learn so even if you do that this is just the way that we tie in so you actually get the benefit of actually also learning with your children ever since i've home educated zz i've learned so much along the way haven't i yeah
So it's been really good. But I'm going to hand you over to ZZ now and I'll see you again soon. If you follow me on Instagram because me and Mama Glitter will be posting everything off Home Ed. And also make sure you subscribe, give a big thumbs up, hit that bell, ding, and see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.